Hello D Nation and welcome back to a Diecast Motorcycle Unbox and Review episode. In today's episode we are going to be reviewing the Vespa Primavera 150 which is a licensed 118 scale diecast scooter manufactured by Maestro. So stay tuned with me on this one and let's get this started. Well, the packaging on this one is a signature Vespa window type boxing with all the product branding and information manufactured by Maisto. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging before we crack this thing open. And with that out of the way and as we get this unboxed, please be careful while using sharp objects and keep in mind to keep these die-cast motorcycles away from children below the age of 5 as the tiny parts can be hazardous. So keeping this in mind, let's get this opened. Well, what we're looking at today is a 118 scale licensed diecast replica of the Vespa Primavera 150 scooter which is manufactured by Maisto. And at first glance, this diecast scooter looks quite premium and has a good build quality and also has quite a bit of detailing to it. And this model is manufactured mostly of diecast and a few components made of ABS plastic which makes it premium looking. This model measures in at 4.8 inches in length, 3.8 inches in height, 2 inches in width and weighs in at about 110 grams. This model also comes with trademark paint apps with standard branding details and also has free rolling wheels, a kickstand, excellent suspension and a lot more intricate details which makes it a premium collectible which is functional as well. And I'm glad I made a choice to get this variation as I'll be able to add it to my ever-growing 118 scale die-cast motorcycle collection. And with this model you're guaranteed a replica which is built to last and will warm the hearts of any diecast collector or hobbyist. So with that being said, now let's take a closer look at the exteriors of this scooter. And with that out of the way, now let's place this diecast beauty on the D-Nation Dino and check out its wheel spin and its functionality. And kindly find further features and specifications regarding this amazing diecast scooter replica in the description below. Well everything seems to be spot on and up to my expectations with this premium diecast scooter. And so with that being said, let's place this diecast model on the D-Nation turntable and take a look at this beauty in a 360 degree view. And here are a few fun facts. Vespa is an Italian brand of scooter manufactured by Piaggio. The name means Wasp in Italian. The Vespa has evolved from a single model motor scooter manufactured in 1946 by Piaggio and company of Pontedera, Italy to a full line of scooters and one of seven companies today owned by Piaggio. From their inception, Vespa scooters have been known for their painted, 
Prestil unibodies which combines in a unified structural unit, a complete cowling of the engine, a flat footboard and a prominent front fairing. There have been 34 different versions of the Vespa and today 5 series are in production, the classic manual transmission PX and the modern CVT transmission S, LX, GT and the GTS. And for further information on Vespa, kindly check the link in the description below. And if you want to get yourself or your loved ones this 118 scale Daika scooter replica that is featured in today's video, I dropped the Best Buy link in the description below. So go check it out and get yourself one if you're interested and also please do let me know in the comments below as to what are your thoughts on this amazing diecast scooter. And kindly continue to support T-Nation by subscribing if you haven't already and also by liking and sharing our videos. And please do check out the rest of the 118 scale diecast motorcycle episodes in the playlist below. And this brings us to the end of this amazing unbox and review episode and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up and share it. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button if this is your first time here. And also click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. And if you care to share your views and thoughts on this episode, please do drop your comments below and stay tuned for all new episodes coming up. Well, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.